You dare steal in my presence? That would cost you your life! Altair, it is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said. I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for you. I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the soup district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small soup northeast of here, the madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Focus on these places and you should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes. Come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayyar, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. Your life! I hear them laughing. 
Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Don't you worry. Who? Who did this? What happened here?
time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Altair, you have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. 
As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malin. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper. Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is? Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes. We are. that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequence is born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done.
Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Get 
You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. There's a murderer loose. This is an ill omen. There's a murderer loose. This is an ill omen. You're somewhere you shouldn't be. Leave before you get hurt. who guards the eastern wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. My family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Man. What in God's name is he doing? Why would anyone want to do that? Hmm. 
Leave, peasant. Since I would do that before. Stay strong, citizens. Remain fixed in your beliefs. Though the road is long and your trials many, know that God watches over you. A plague upon Saladin! A plague upon his people! It's good you've come, brother. I could use that blade of yours. Too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. And I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. 
Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. Can victory be assured? Stormed away from God, and so he punishes us, sends all the human warriors to gather at our gates. But God is also merciful, and our past misdeeds may be forgotten. All we need do is ask. And so I say to you, Repent! Lay down before him and confess your sins. He will forgive such a forgiveness we must. Not only when our hearts and minds are cleansed, can victory be assured. Be strong! Stand firm! Do not give up! Without our support, Richard Such and his men cannot hope to free the whole fear and doubt of the weapons of our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. Well done, Altair. With those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. I'm wrong with the rest. If your heart is pure, we will burn it up. told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Muallam has ordered the execution of Garnier de la Plus. The Grand Master of the Knights Hospitalier? Indeed. And I have already determined when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yeah. Uh, 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 u
Your presence annoys. Be gone, monk. This is actually my music. <laughs> to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Ah! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Have you people nothing better to do?
this dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing. But of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. news for me, Altair? Gagné de Naplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? 
The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them, and that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things, bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair, herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. My students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you can show them what you know. And that, my students, is how we all should fight. Stop. 